Welcome back to my channel. This is CJ with Waste Rectified, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Ruggable. If you haven't heard about the Ruggable, it is a non toxic, pet friendly, kid friendly, washable, partially recycled rug. <laughs> and I will give you all of the details right now. Day. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the Ruggable. We own a 5 by 7 Ruggable, and we've had ours for about nine months. We got it back in February of this year, so now we're rounding out uh, the middle of November, and we're coming up on the year mark, but we're a couple months shy. So most definitely, in my opinion, somebody who is a mom of small children and large dogs, um, the washability of this rug is choice for us. Being able to throw it into the washer and dryer and uh, not have to worry about vacuuming up every last piece of hair is something that has come in incredibly handy. The rugs that we have that are not ruggable are dirty and it's really hard to clean them when you have animals, especially our large dog. He's a Great Dane and he has short hair. He has those short hairs that are hard to get up with the vacuum and things like that. So it just kind of feels like our floors, like our rugs are never really clean. Except for when I wash the Ruggable, I definitely notice a difference right away in its um, beauty and hairlessness. And because it has the low pile, it washes up really nice. One other thing to mention with the low pile, um, it doesn't really have any snags, it hasn't had any pilling, it hasn't had any um, unsightly strings hanging out, even though it's been washed a few times and even spot vacuumed uh, according to the directions. Uh, I, I've pretty much done everything. I've spot cleaned this rug, I've vacuumed it, I've washed it. As far as like the texture goes, it's still as, n as nice as it was the day that we brought it home. And uh, that's almost a little surprising because the edges of it are kind of like the embroidered looking edges that are, you know, string. And I'm really kind of surprised. I thought for sure that was gonna be the first thing to go. And I've washed it about five times now. Laundry is not my favorite thing to do, so I might put it off sometimes. But every time I've washed it up, it's come out beautifully. There has been some fading since we first got the rug. I didn't notice that it had faded until I had compared pictures of the first day I had the rug and then this last time that I washed it. The rug is still beautiful. People don't come into my home and say, what's with that faded rug? <laughs> so it still looks really good. The kitchen in our home is definitely the heart of our home and we have a lot of happenings that go on in there every day. Even though our kitchen is relatively small, we have dance parties in there all the time. The animals run across the rug all the time. And of course we have our cat who likes to kind of sit ominously in the middle of the rug in the middle of the night. And so sometimes when I'm creeping up to get up before my family, he just kind of looks like some sort of super villain sitting there in the dark with one spotlight on him. A couple other things that we like about the Ruggable, it is assembled here in the USA. Parts of the rug are made in other countries, but um, the last stage, uh, the pieces are brought here and it's assembled here and shipped out from here. So it's not completely made in the USA, but at least there um, is a part of their manufacturing process that is here at home. And the rug is partially recycled. The resin pad that it comes on and um, is made with recycled fibers and it's also kind of a zero waste uh, manufacturing process according to their website. I don't think the actual fabric of the upper part of the rug is recycled, but um, it is dyed with non-toxic dyes and the rug is hypoallergenic. So if you have anybody in your home with allergy sensitivities, this rug shouldn't uh, affect you. And the last pro I would say is that these rugs are made to order. And that is a pro because they don't have a bunch of products sitting in warehouses taking up space. And then if that product isn't moved, it turns into waste. The con of that, <laughs> and maybe it's a good time to get into the cons, but a con of that, of course, is that you do have to wait a little bit longer for your rug. If you get one of the more, um, I would say, neutral patterns, there are a few that they offer on Amazon, but if you order directly through Ruggable, it does take a few weeks to get your item. Another con of this product is probably just that it is kind of difficult to take apart and put together. Taking it apart isn't that hard, but um, putting it back together can be a little bit of a challenge just depending on if you have help or not, of course, I wash the rugs usually um, by myself and put them together myself. Our five by seven isn't impossible to do 
when you're alone, just sometimes it's like, <laughs> I have to take it apart and put it back a couple times to get it just right. Because the rug pad and the rug top are essentially the same size, you really have to get it right. There's really little room for error as far as getting the um, rug back on the pad. The plus side of that, of course, is that then the edges and stuff tend to stay down a little bit better. I guess one other small con is sometimes if you don't put the rug, if you don't put the rug um, straight on and smooth it down on the pad, you can get some bubbling like on the sides and sometimes the corners might lift a little bit. And of course that can be hazardous uh, for tripping and things like that. I've usually found that if, if that's happening, it's not on the rug pad right. So I'll go back and readjust it. And usually that helps with any corners and things like that. I also notice, and it might just be a personal hack, but if one corner is lifting a lot, I'll turn the rug around. So sometimes it's just a matter of adjusting the rug on the rug pad again if you have lifting and corners and things like that that are problematic. At least that's been our experience because we haven't had any major issues like tripping or anything like that. So the price of the rug varies depending on the sizes that you buy and they have a bunch of different sizes to choose from. The 5x7 I think was $3.99 or $2.99. <laughs> So considering so far the longevity of this rug, I definitely feel like it's worth the price because we spent, I think we spent $150 on the rug that we had on the floor before the Ruggable and it only lasted about a year and a half before it was just so gross. I just couldn't handle it anymore. It had stains on it that I couldn't get out. I even had, I even like went against the instructions and shampooed our old rug and it looked good for like a second, but it just wasn't the right type of rug for that area. <laughs> a ruggable is the only type of rug for my house now, but this is definitely um, miles above the rug that we had before. All right, so I think that wraps up our review of the 5x7 ruggable. I hope I gave you some insight as to what it might be like to have a ruggable in your home. If you have any questions or things that I didn't answer in this video, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you liked this video, if you could hit that like button, I would so appreciate it. And if you want more more tips, tricks, and product reviews on how to live your best green life, subscribe and we'll bring you more. I hope that I will see you guys again and have a great week. Bye.